Big Ball, good afternoon. How are you all doing? Hopefully you're all doing very, very well. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget as well to like and share the vids. Also, don't forget, give me a follow on Instagram if you have it, Ade Oladipo. All right, peeps, we are one week away, one week away from Usyk versus AJ. And look, can't lie to you, it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it, does it? I mean, I don't know why that is. Is it because the Sky Sports machine hasn't really cranked it up yet? I, I don't know. Is it because a lot of people think AJ is going to lose? I, I don't know. But, I mean, having watched and covered a few AJ fights, normally a week out, it is ramped up. Like, normally, even if you try to avoid it, it's in your face, right? As boxing fans, you can't avoid it. It's AJ. This doesn't feel the same. It really doesn't feel the same. Um, again, I can't, I can't put my finger on why that is. I, I, I really can't. Um, look, the zone haven't gone big with it. I have to be brutally honest. They've not. Sky Sports obviously have the rights, and they've gone big, but not, not what I expected them to do. I mean, for a company that have paid, we're hearing around twenty-eight million pounds for it. You'd think they'd really fucking, you know, go for it. It just doesn't feel big right now. Um, and that's a shame. That is a shame. And I put it down to the problem with the rights initially and also the fact that I mentioned this, the fact that a lot of people think AJ isn't going to win. That I think that might be the biggest thing here, the biggest reason. Um, I fly out on Wednesday, although that might be changed to Tuesday. Um, I hope it is changed to Tuesday because I've seen the itinerary and there's a lot going on and I want to sort of make sure that I cover everything. I just want to consume as much as possible. And and then we see, and then obviously it's fight night on Saturday. So, I mean, this time next week, we'll be a few hours away to see, a few hours away, sorry, from seeing if AJ becomes a three-time heavyweight world champion or if Alexander Usyk is just too good. You know, I was, I was thinking about Usyk and I was thinking, obviously, look, if AJ loses, he loses. I just want to see a better performance. Obviously, it will hurt as an AJ fan. But um, look, if he loses to what I think is almost a boxing genius, then, you know, hands up. But I was more angry about AJ losing to Ruiz. If AJ loses to Usyk, I'm like, well, it's Usyk. When he lost to Ruiz, I was like, oh, fuck, what's going on here? But to Usyk, it's, it's just what it is. But I was thinking, how would some of the other heavyweights from the past have dealt with Usyk? And even some from the present, like... Would Wilder beat Usyk? Like, would Wilder just land one? I mean, I think Fury would, because Fury's just too big. But even people, I was thinking, like, Mike Tyson. I was Honestly, I was having these conversations with myself. Like, would Mike Tyson just steamroll him? Or would Usyk just, almost just be too skillful for him? Like, like what, what would Lennox Lewis do? Like, I, honestly, I was playing with my mind. And look, I think Usyk potentially could be a lot of, sort of, good guys from back in the day. I don't think he would beat the greats. I don't. Um, so I was trying to work out what AJ stylistically needs to do. Like, why can't AJ beat this man? Why is AJ sort of the massive underdog? Is it because people think he doesn't have a chin? Is it because people think the stamina is not good? Is it because people think his mentality is maybe not like a bit fragile right now? I don't know. I, I think AJ can win. I, I, honestly, I, I think he can win. I think... Um, if you're one of the people watching this and you think he doesn't have a chance, then I just think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. I mean, it wasn't easy work last time for Usyk. I mean, Usyk won, of course. I gave Usyk, I think, eight of the 12 rounds, maybe nine. But I mean, you look at Usyk's face after and he talks about the body punches that AJ landed. I mean, AJ can cause him problems. He can. Um, I feel like I'm repeating myself here, but I'll say it again. AJ needs to do two things. Dent him. And by denting him, the second thing is it will get his respect. Sometimes I feel like Usyk was just almost toying with AJ a bit. Um, you know, I, I almost want Usyk to know that if he gets into the fire, so like, this is AJ, this is Usyk, right? Usyk was able to go like that, like that to AJ, literally just doing that. I want Usyk to know if he goes in there, he's fucked because that's the fire, right? I mean, he can, if he goes in there and stays in there, then there's a problem. I felt in the first fight, he was able to almost go, get into range with AJ and have his way. Like, have his way with AJ. Like, and I was like, hit him. <laughs> hit him, AJ, hit him. But I feel like if he goes in there this time round, I think AJ is going to land. 
And I feel like that will cause him some sort of apprehension to get in there. And then that's how I feel like AJ might be able to get a points decision. Look, gun to the head, I think AJ loses this one. I really do. I think he loses. Um, but you guys know me and my predictions. I mean, if I can hell, mate, they're awful. And I hope they're awful this time. I really hope that AJ's mental is right now through the roof. Not just what comes out of his mouth, because it always sounds good. I mean, here, I hope he's really fucking fixed here. And I hope Robert Garcia's had enough time to really just make some changes. He's not going to be able to change it all at once. That's impossible. He's not. Although I do think AJ is a sponge and can soak a lot up. You're not going to... If this was, again, if this was AJ versus Ruiz, I think he can soak up enough because I think he's better than Ruiz. He's not a better boxer than Usyk. So can he soak up enough knowledge from a very, very, very experienced trainer, former trainer of the year, I think twice, to beat Usyk? Soon find out. I'm looking forward to seeing what he weighs as well. Both men. Usyk looks a bit bigger. I think we've all seen that. Um... He looks bigger, but he still looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like he's now just, it's almost like he's put on a little bit every day. So it's not like he's just, and just gone big. It looks like he's put on a little bit every day. So I think his speed looks like it will be the same. And I think his stamina will be the same. AJ, I think, operates best when he's around 17-3, 17-4. There is part of me that wants AJ to come in around 18 stone and fuck him up. There's, there's that part of me like, you know, you know what it is? Like, almost like, a, a, a race car or a fucking or um, a horse that's just built for the sprints like those horses that run the six furlongs and five furlongs like I can only give you six furlongs I can't give you a mile I can give you six furlongs and some, there's part of me that wants AJ to come in almost like I've got enough in the tank for five rounds and so for five rounds I'm going to fucking throw everything at you and you know what if you take it well done you've taken it if you can take whatever I throw but there's also a part of me that wants AJ to come in at 17-2, 17-3, maybe 17-4, and just have enough for 12. But I can't lie that the, the, the little kid in me just wants to see AJ have a war for five rounds. And I think that there is also a part of me that feels like if AJ has enough in the tank for five rounds, I mean to go full throttle, he could get Usyk out of them five. If full throttle, like I'm talking fucking guy like a bat, like a vrrr, get him out of there. A week to go, peeps. A week to go. I'll be doing some stuff out there as well as the zone. Obviously, I'll be doing some stuff for Talksport. Um, I have agreed to do some stuff for um, ID Boxing, Rob Tebbit, and them, man. So I think it'll be more like, like a nightly podcast, like we did last time um, when I was out there for AJ uh, Ruiz. So um, yeah, looking forward to it. Really am looking forward to a lot of you guys going out there as well. I know there's a few. Um, that are on the channel that are going to fly out there. So obviously I'll be meeting up with you guys as well. I'm about to say, I'm just about to say I'll be meeting you guys for a drink, a drink of coffee. Obviously, because there is none of that stuff. Drink of coffee, maybe a bit of shisha. Um, but that's it. Looking, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing how Saudi Arabia might have changed from when I went out there. Obviously, I went out there three years ago. I want to see if it's changed a bit. I hope it has. But I'm um, looking forward to it. Guys, um, I will be doing some stuff for the channel as well. I'm taking a camera out there. I... I, I I can't promise to do a lot, but I will have at least a couple of sit downs with Gareth A. Davises, Adam Catra, I'll get them all on the channel and we'll just have a, um, a chat. Good old chinwag. Peace and love.